Hey, what's up everybody? It's CrossCurrent. Today I'm giving you a guide onto a game called Harvest Days. So this game I got for free on Lurkit.com, and it's an interesting one. One say good, one say bad. But start off, when you get into this game, you're going to want to go to the settings, and turn the sensitivity down to about 20%, so you don't just spin constantly in circles. Graphics, set your brightness on this menu screen, otherwise you won't get an opportunity to later. It'll move up and down on the bar, but it won't actually change the brightness. Pretty bad. Sound, controls, up to you. Let's get into a game. Now if you're trying to load in the game, I would say do not click anywhere outside of the game. It'll take a while to load, but if you do click outside of it, it'll pop up with an error report, and it'll kick you out of the game. So on a good computer, that took about two to three minutes just to load in the game, which is pretty bad. So if you press D, it shows you the calendar. You can also view crafting, inventory, skills, journal, and social from there. Social, that's just when you talk to people. Journal, that shows all your quests and all that stuff, as well as what they might call a tutorial. It really doesn't teach very much, which is the point of this video. Skills. This is what makes an RPG. You have farming, foraging, mining, fishing, recycling, crafting, wood cutting, cooking, and commerce. A lot of these you can't actually get to yet until you get the other categories up a bit. Each time you level up a specific category, you get better at it to where it takes up less of your energy bar on the right side. And sometimes it'll actually give you new blueprints to do different things like making fertilizer for gardening or better tools, etc. Also, you have this hot bar down below, which you're going to use most of the time. So the main thing I would suggest with this game is if you're trying to get money, which top right you see have 500 gold, that won't get you very far. You're going to want to do a lot of farming more than anything else. Farming is the best way to earn money. Heck, the game is called Harvest Days, so kind of makes sense. So you're going to press 1 to show that equipment, then 2. You're just going to be doing that back and forth until you get a decent amount of plot all ready to be garden. And then you'll go to town and buy some seeds if you need more. I'd say buy as many as you can so you do all at once. Now an interesting thing about this game is that tools actually do not degrade or break. But the main thing you have to worry about is that health bar on the right side, the energy bar. Once it gets low enough, if you lose the energy and you pass out, you have to pay money to get brought back to your house. Now. To get into town, one of the best things you can do is come over to these scooter type things and hop on and ride it around. It goes quicker and it takes less energy, so might as well. They are very tough to steer though. Now, as, as you can see, the store is not open right now, so you're just going to kind of walk around, maybe pick up some recycling, put that away so you can get different levels while waiting for that store to open up. To recycle within the game, you just come over to these trash cans and recycling bins, right click, then you can either double click or move the stuff into that area. It'll give you some money, but not a lot. Now guys, I forgot to mention this earlier, but actually the best spot to put a plot of land, especially for gardening, is right here or right across because you've got this little pond right here to fill up your water. You cannot fill up your water in the sink in the house for whatever reason, so this is good, makes a lot less running. Believe me, in a game like this, you'll respect that big time. Over here you have your mailbox. You'll get something new in the mail every day. Nothing too crazy about it, but it'll sometimes help you if you're a little bit lost. Here's the shipping box. You can sell anything in here. I typically would sell whatever you finish making from the gardening. Just because you can't really seem to sell it in the stores. So you might as well sell it in the shipping box. You'll get it within the next day after you go to sleep which typically will be pretty soon, since you'll run out of energy very quickly in this game. But yeah, you can just double click, and tomorrow morning I'll get 15 coins. So I believe that you cannot actually sell, buy any more seeds the first day, because the general store guy isn't even going to his shop, which is weird. So, to put stuff in the ground, it typically tells you, it shows the seed icon, you have to put the seed in, then it shows you the water, you have to do that. 
you hear that heartbeat on the right side, that means my energy is getting pretty low, so soon I'm going to have to go inside and go to sleep. Or else I'm going to pass out and lose some of my money. Now a lot of times it will rain during the day, so you don't need to do this right off the bat. But just to be safe, I like to do it in case I'd run out of energy and have to go to sleep and my plants might die. To go to sleep, just come inside your house. For some reason, it's on the main floor. You have to go on the right side of the bed and then press the right mouse button when it appears. Then it'll give you all the levels and the new recipes and all that. And show your skill tree. Some things take a decent amount of time and... I don't know what you get if you get to the 10th level, but when I got to the 6th or 7th on farming, it seemed to give me some things. Since farming is the main thing I'd be doing, it's pretty helpful to get a lot of money, which would get the commerce up. You get enough food, you can probably cook. You can get the equipment to fish. And when you're bored, you can do all the other stuff too. Alright, so it's a new day. We come over here. Just have to water these again. On the regular account I played on, you could only get one jug, unless there's some way to get to it that I haven't seen yet. So, you gotta utilize this pond, just go up to it, left click, boom, it's full again. No biggie. But today I'm gonna show you guys the mountain pass up there, it has a lot of good loot. You can get ores, and that will allow you to make more things that are important down the road. So, I'm just gonna show you guys that real quick. Now when you see these buildings over here, a lot of this stuff is not in the game yet. They just have little areas for it. So don't mess with that. The mine is also not in the game yet. They have an area, but you can't do anything with it. Which is really unfortunate because I was really hoping to mine rocks in the mine and get all the stuff I needed. So this forest area is typically where we're going to get all the different ores like copper, coal, silver, gold, diamond, all that stuff. The trees apparently give the same type of wood. Uh, you can find other plants as well to use your sickle on. If you see a bush that looks like, it has, looks like it has raspberries or blackberries, you would go to that and use your sickle and just swipe to get all those resources. With trees, you just chop, and after five chops, it'll fall down. Same with the rocks and the pickaxe. It'll take five pickaxe swings, and then it'll break apart. Don't sell the coal, copper, silver, any of that. In the shipping box, it might seem like it'll give you some money, but it'll give you a lot more money if you actually make something better out of it. Also, it can allow you to make a lot of things that'll make the game a lot easier for you. If you see this stuff up here, the blue rocks, definitely mine it. That stuff is pretty hard to find, and it'll definitely be something they use down the road. If you can mine it, of course. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Kind of weird with this game. Regular stones can give you some of that stuff as well, but it's just very unlikely that it'll give you what you need. But yeah, I think that's about does it for this guide video. When you have the seeds done, you just use the sickle, you go to that shipping box like I showed you earlier, and you sell the stuff for money. And they just rinse and repeat going back to the general store. Hopefully this guide helps you out. If you have any other questions about this game, please feel free to comment below. If you like the video, like the video. Share it with your friends if you think they could use it. Subscribe if you like my content and hit the bell to stay notified. I'll be making a review on this game as well as making more guides and reviews to other role-playing games. That being said guys, I'll see you next time.